Raquel. Raquel. You can do better. So much better. You must destroy it. Destroy it! <laughs> no. no. Not that moment. You need something more powerful. <laughs> Greetings, Earthlings. I'm Raquel, and this is Rack Rex Art. I'm also Rack Rex Art, and also, most importantly, Django's mom. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here, and in case you missed it, last week I started a pretty big project working on um, a book nook that represents a really great trip my friends and I had to Iceland and also brings in some themes from the Icewind Dale campaign that we've started playing. Things have not gone according to plan so far and I did something really stupid and broke some glass. Didn't go so great for me and really slowed down the project. So this week I'm hopeful that I can kind of pick up the pieces and <laughs> and get this project back on track. So we're gonna kick it off with, I have a lot of painting to do. I'm gonna try to capture that Aurora Borealis feel along the back walls of the book nook. And then I'm really stoked to start applying the snow to the terrain. So hoping I can pull this one together and really excited for it. There's still a long way to go, but I think we got this, we got this. <laughs> Normally painting is like my favorite part of a project, but I'm really struggling with this one. I don't know if it's just the cardboard texture or what. I just can't get it to look the way that I want or imagine that it should look. I'm also feeling a little bit concerned about the gapping from the clay shrinking. I don't know that I like the way that the edges look with the cardboard, so I don't know what to do there. I think to make things move forward, I'm going to step away from painting and focus on making the monster for a little bit and kind of reassess the situation. How do you even hold a camera? Hopefully y'all can hear me over my old car warming up in this icy weather. I haven't left my house in about two weeks and I actually am about to leave the house right now, obviously. And um, I've made kind of a big decision after sleeping on the project. I think I am gonna go ahead and cannibalize it and turn it into some terrain. I really like the tentacles and they have me inspired to just make it into something good. This Iceland memory and this Iceland Dale campaign is important to me. And I would rather modify the project than have it be something I'm not happy with. So um, we're gonna go grab some supplies and see what I can whip up. little dog fur in my mouth. Ah! Um, <laughs> okay, back in the store, I got some more air dry clay. The plan is to cut out the part of the book nook that I like um, and then kind of build up more of an iceberg snow mound type of thing with some more air dry clay. And the tentacles have me inspired. They have me convinced that it is a bright new day filled with possibilities. <laughs> We're gonna continue to add on that tentacle monster idea coming out of the ice and snow. And um, I still wanna use those lights. So I got eyes, I got eyes. I still have ideas to integrate those lights into this new updated project. Let's continue on this positive note and try to get a lot done today. Okay, let's go.
Okay, so here's the portion of the nook that I do want to keep. It's basically just a blob and I'm gonna add in some more clay and a second tentacle monster that actually lights up. Now I just have to destroy the ugly, useless parts of this project. Okay, let's go smash this book nook so I can move on with my life. Oh, and don't worry, I removed all the glass from the inside so it's not gonna be as sketchy as last time to be crushing this with a giant mallet. If y'all like this mallet, you're gonna really love the new mallet that Nick made. Just a little bit of an upgrade. I'm free of the crappy part of the project. I'm also pretty sure that my neighbors are kind of worried about my sanity at this point. pretty late and it's been a much better day than yesterday. I feel really good about the decision I made to change gears with the project. I feel good about it. I am regrouping and just proud that I was able to salvage this and I didn't crush the entire thing with a mallet. Really stoked to pick it back up tomorrow and sculpt some more eyeballs and put the details on the tentacles. Yay! <laughs> All right, we'll see you then. so stoked on how the bigger tentacles are making this piece look. I'm so glad I started over and I'm so happy with how this is looking. I love the large tentacles and I can't wait to get the lights all inside of them. So now what I'm gonna do is <laughs> something I feel like I should have done weeks ago, but I'm finally gonna get to use this awesome fake snow that I bought. Um, I did a couple different tests of using plaster and then the Citadel snow, and I really like how fluffy this one is, so I'm gonna use mostly this and a little bit of a mix of plaster, um, slap that onto the terrain part, and uh, let that dry overnight, and then tomorrow I'm gonna paint all my tentacles, get real wiggly with them. I'm stoked. I'm, I'm just so happy that this didn't turn into a total disaster, and I'm glad I didn't scrap it all the way. All right, let's get chilly. I don't know. Let's get snowy. I don't know. Let's just get to work. <laughs> If I take too long to set up, my camera automatically turns off and it makes me feel really self-conscious. <sighs> I 
I'm finally done and I'm so stoked. I'm stoked because this took forever, but also because it turned out so awesome. I'm like high-fiving myself, I'm so stoked. <laughs> but I am so glad I stuck with this project. Somehow, even after abandoning the book nook idea, I was able to capture my memories of Iceland by including those hot pots that I mentioned from the last video and the jackets that represent the colors of all my friends. And I also think it really captures that scary, harsh, Icewind Dale vibe, and it's gonna be a great piece to have sitting next to me during our Zoom sessions of the campaign. Here are some close-up shots of it. Even getting product shots of this friggin' diorama was very difficult. Everything with this project was difficult because um, it's just such a funny shape, but here you go, check it out. <laughs> All in all, I am like so happy right now. Like a weight has been lifted. And thank you to everyone who commented on my Instagram or my patrons who thought my work and project pictures were cool. Cause without y'all, I probably would have scrapped the whole thing. Also another huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you for supporting me. Your support really does help me keep the lights on. <laughs> Not the lights, but the crafting supplies. And I do try to get a little bit better with each video and your support really gives me a little bit of leeway to invest in some more equipment and to spend some more time learning how to become a pro YouTuber. <laughs> so I thank you all for that and I love chatting with you all in the comments. Be sure to check out my Instagram, share your Instagram with me. I'd love to see what you're up to and I hope you stick around for the next video. We have, we, me have some good projects coming down the line. Thanks for watching and have a lovely rest of your day. Raquel, now that you're done with this project, what are you gonna do to celebrate? Oh, so many possibilities. What's first on the list? Well, probably just stay in my house because it's 2020, what else is there to do? That was dumb.